wildflowers. These are wildflowers that come out early in the spring. They don't last long, so you got to catch them while they're out, and they are gorgeous. And they decorate the, the hillside, the trails in the early part of the spring. We're going to be on the side of a mountain today on private property in Grundy County, and we're going to find a lot of beautiful wildflowers, and we want you to come with us. Friends Deb and Lynn are with us on the hike today. This is one of the earliest wildflowers, the cutleaf toothwort. And they are found all over the place in the Upper Cumberland region. They're all over Rock Island State Park. Cutleaf toothwort. Got in pink and white. Flocks. It just now came out. A little slow coming up this year, but it is beautiful. It'll be around for a while. These are called rue anemones. A lot of times they'll grow in clusters. Very beautiful. All the green that you see in this shot is trout lily. As you can see, it grows in profusion here on the side of the mountain. And we get a good rain here in the next day or so. It's going to be all yellow here, or mostly. And this is what the trout lily looks like when it's bloomed. We've arrived at a multi-tiered waterfall on the side of the mountain, and this drops for over a thousand feet. 
numerous cascades. And we've tried to climb to the top of this waterfall and you can't, we haven't been able to get there yet. It just keeps going. But way up on top of the mountain, continuous waterfall. And today, it is decorated with wildflowers. We're gonna let you see it. There's an abundance of the Sweet Betsy Trillium here in this part of Tennessee. They are all along the mountainside, all along the streams and waterfalls. Sweet Betsy Trillium. come up on Trout Lily City here on the mountainside as you look up there on the hill look <laughs> look at all the yellow and green very unusual to have them out in mass like that and certainly pleasing to the eyes and it goes all along the hillside Thank you. 
Well, we wanted you to see some different flowers today, so we had to change locations. We're in a new trail called Chumley's Trail, and uh, we're already seeing some uh, some different wildflowers along the trail here. As we get closer to the river, we're going to see all kinds of Virginia bluebells. They are beautiful, some of the most beautiful flowers you're going to see. So stay with us. This is the Fernleaf Toothwort, very similar to what we saw earlier, the Cutleaf Toothwort. And these are all over the place here at Chumley. These are the Virginia bluebells. Very beautiful flowers that come out early every spring, usually by the side of a creek or river. They like water. Virginia bluebells. This is the Little Duck River near Manchester, Tennessee. And over across the river is Old Stone Fort State Park, or at least a portion of the property of Old Stone Fort State Park in Chumleys is actually a part of that park. We are across the river from most of the state park. A fairly new trail, and there's a lot to see. This is what's left of an old crossing used by settlers a long time ago. A lot of history up here at Old Stone Fort in Manchester. There's a lot to see. A lot to learn, a lot to see. Just when we thought we had seen all the flowers we were going to see, we come upon this little guy, Dutchman's Breeches. Looks like a pair of uh, pants hanging from a clothesline. That's where they got their name. They're not real common around here, so we always get excited when we run into Dutchman's Breeches. Well, we've come to the end of our 
wildflower hike today, our two-parter. And uh, tell you what, both places just amazing. And here at Old Stone Fort, here at the uh, Chumley Trail at Old Stone Fort, we have seen numerous wildflowers, especially Virginia bluebells. They are beautiful. And all that green you can see in front of you, those green clumps with the blue in it, Virginia bluebells. And they're not all out yet. They're still growing. So if you get a chance to come to Old Stone Ford, it's in Manchester, Tennessee. Come on out, you're going to see a lot of wildflowers, not only in the springtime, all during the summer and fall as well. We thank you for watching. We'll see you next time as we explore another Tennessee trail.